because of the greed, the irresponsibility, and the illegal behavior of the people on Wall Street, we are plunged into a real, real economic mess. I don't really think it's the end of the recession. 15 million Americans are looking for work. Another 5 million have given up looking. Don't you think that an end to unemployment would be a good indicator that we're nearing the end of the recession? Uh, I want to thank Pamela for her excellent question because I think it's a question that people all over this country are asking themselves. Just the other day, uh, Ben Bernanke, who was chairman of the Fed, said that it is, quote unquote, very likely, end of quote, that the recession uh, has ended. Well, uh, let me just suggest to Mr. Bernanke that today we have about 17% of our workforce, 17%. 26 million Americans who are either unemployed, have given up looking for work, they no longer think that a job is possible, or they're working part-time when they want to work full-time, 17% of our population. So for those folks, I don't think that they believe this recession is over. In fact, what they believe is that they are mired in the worst economic mess since the Great Depression. And in fact, one of the really disturbing statistics out there is it is taking unemployed people a lot longer now to find a job than used to be the case, on average about six months. But it's not just losing your job or working part-time. What it is is losing your health insurance. What it is is losing your home. What it is is losing your pension. What it is is slipping out of the middle class and into poverty and not having the capability of sending your kids to college. That's what the economy is about today. So to my mind, most importantly, we have got to stay focused on the reality that because of the greed, the irresponsibility, and the illegal behavior of the people on Wall Street, we are plunged into a real, real economic mess. And we're going to have to work together, and we're going to have to think real hard about how we get out of that mess. Now, last week, I talked about some of the ideas that we're working on. But let me just reiterate some of, with some of them all. Uh, number one, uh, we need to get a handle on Wall Street so that they do not go back to the horrendous ways of the past. And they're spending zillions of dollars right now on lobbying and campaign contributions to make that happen. What we must demand, and this is enormously important, very few people are talking about it, is a new Wall Street. A Wall Street not designed to make hundreds of millions of dollars for their CEOs, but a Wall Street designed to help increase manufacturing in the United States, create decent jobs, help small businesses, do something for the productive economy. Another area that we need to return to is our disastrous trade policies, which allow corporate America to throw American workers out on the street, move to China, pay people 50 cents an hour, bring those products back into this country. So there is a lot of work in front of us in terms of the economy. Let's stay focused on this issue and don't believe anybody who's telling you, quote unquote, the recession is over.